It's the MLB pregame show, and we're counting down to first pitch here this afternoon. While the final preparations are being made, we'll take a look at a young up-and-comer in today's Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Number 17 is our subject, and everybody's been talking about the perfecto he tossed a few days ago. Hey, everybody's anxious to see what his encore will be. Yeah, and it was such a thrill to watch him make baseball history with that perfect game. I mean, it's just such an amazingly difficult thing to do, and he did it in such dominant fashion. I mean, I know that it's sort of obvious, but really, there's not another word that I can think of that describes him on that day better than dominant. But after all the emotions and excitement he's dealt with this week, It'll be interesting to see how focused and ready he is in this one. Should be a fun one to watch. All right. The guys and I will be back to get this one started on the show right after this. About set for baseball now on the show as you get a look at Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. Today, it's the finale of this four-game set between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. With that, here's how Buck Showalter lines his Orioles up in this one. Who do you have your eye on, EK? Well, Matt... I'm going to be looking to see if that guy in the seventh spot can stay hot. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. He knows how to stay within himself and come through in the clutch. And you can see the young fella right there as he takes the hill for just the second time in his big league career. So the butterflies, I'm quite sure, haven't departed just yet. Adam Jones makes his way to the plate, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Center fielder number 10, Adam Jones. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Teixeira is there, and it's a first pitch out to start the ball game. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Who are you focused on, EK? Well... You know, you better not sleep on that guy hitting seven. He does a lot of things right at the plate. He takes the simple approach, and it tends to pay off. Emilio Bonifacio will get his first shot at it here. One for four with a double in the ball game last night. Yeah, that was a good one for him, and he needed it because, as you can see, his batting average on the year ain't pretty. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. You know, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here, E.K., they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. And they've got themselves a pretty good-sized lead in the division coming into play. Certainly not out of reach yet, but they've got to be pretty comfortable with where they're sitting at this point in the year. And this will be hauled in by Beltron for out number two. And with that, let's give you a look at the Yankees' defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, this manager loves to do the defensive shifts. So we're going to see a lot of odd formations as the game goes along. I can't wait to see how it works. Chris Davis will stand in now as we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July. Starts him out with the knuckle oh, curve, and he swings through it for strike one. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. Yeah, Jerry seems to call a really good game back there, Matt. It's pretty rare that you see anyone too overly displeased with his own. Here's a late it's swing out. and a miss, oh, strike two. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Orioles nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Manny Machado 
will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team could muster all of one run. Well, that was a rough one yesterday, but he's still hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. The windup and the 0-1. Grounded to the right. Gloved by Castro. Throw to Got first it. will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Right fielder, Mark, Trumbo. Mark Trumbo will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Well, it seems like it's going from bad to worse. He had a bad day yesterday, and he's hitting under 200 in his last 10. Here's Beltre. Ball. That's out. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. That's, a ball. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. No score here as we play inning number two. I ties him up one with ball, a fastball strikes, inside, count. one and two. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. Ready on one and two. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. And we'll get a good look at the grip on this last circle change. You can see that your fingers actually make kind of an OK symbol on the side of the baseball. And that gives it that nice fading movement it has at the end. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Jammed him a bit there as it's fouled at the plate. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Hey. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 oh, and 2. And now, 0 oh, and 2 here. This is where you need to expand the zone. If it's close, you got to let it fly. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. J.J. Hardy. Leads it off here. Bottom third of the order is set to go here in the third. Well, he's faced the minimum so far, and obviously it's still early, but they need to get something going because you can't let this guy settle in out there. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Here's a swing and a high pop up, drifting toward the third base dugout. One away here to begin the third. Batting eight. The catcher, number 36, Caleb Joseph. Stepping in, Caleb Joseph. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Mm, a little oh, no. tardy there. No balls and a strike. And sometimes you got to cut down a little stride against a guy who's throwing this hard. Either you take that leg kick completely out of the equation, or you get it started just a little bit quicker. And he falls behind 0-2. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ballgame. Fastball, hey. strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. How about that sequence right there? Fastball, fastball, and fastball again. No surprise what he's featuring out there today. Just straight hard stuff. And he gets the three-pitch see you later. Stepping in now, Dariel Alvarez. As he swings and hits this one, fouled off to the right and out of play. Third inning, no score to this point. Aye. That's taken. Now it's 0-2.
chop foul over towards the coaching box. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Ellsbury is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Adam Jones is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Still pretty early, but they don't have any hits yet, so you need to get it going offensively. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Takes a look at a change up there and it's a ball and two strikes now. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And another foul ball. The one and two pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Chop foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. One and two. Here it comes. Swing and a little tapper, but it gets foul. Neither guy given in here. This is a great at bat. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this is a foul oh, ball a as the ball. count holds steady at one and two. Fights off another pitch and hits it foul right at the plate. And he finally ah. puts him away here as he strikes him out after an 11 pitch at bat. And I'll tell you what, he's throwing with a lot of confidence right now. And he's also taking some chances with location, but you know, he's thinking he's bulletproof out there, and so far he has been. Striding into the box, Emilio Bonifacio. He flew out in his last at-bat. Well, at least he was able to get it into the outfield, and that's more than most of his teammates can say so far. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. No mm, chased out of the strikes. zone there, and he's down two strikes. And this has been a common problem for all of these guys. They just can't lay off that pitch down and away. Chop foul at the plate, and we'll do it again. Here it comes on nothing and two. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Well, so much for your number one and two guys being your table setters. I mean, they're both gone now on back-to-back -back strikeouts. Here's Chris Davis now. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Right side defense aligned perfectly. Oh, what a stop on the oh. slide. Got him. Woo, no problem. One, two, three, go the Orioles. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Manny Machado 
Heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Now a check swing, but he makes contact and hits it. And way too much on the throw as it's over the head of Teixeira. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. My word. Boy, when you're starving for offense, this is a huge break. They get the leadoff man on here to start the inning. And maybe getting this pitcher into his stretch might just jumpstart that offense. So striding in, Mark Trumbo, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first out. The key here is a first baseman. You've got to be able to stay focused on the baseball, which is easy for me to say. I don't have half a bat heading my way, but that's a nice job down there to take this one in. Here's Jonathan Scope now. As he swings down on the first pitch and sends a chopper over to third. And a bit He's of a out. high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Still a little early to start talking about these things. There you go, right there. A big goose egg in that hit column, worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. J.J. Hardy in now, hopped out in his first trip. Yeah, he just uppercut a fastball. That top hand kind of dragged through the zone, which caused the bat head to drop a little bit. Ah! Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Boy, he has been a first strike throwing machine, hasn't he? He's hardly been behind in the count all game long. No runs, no hits. One error thus far for Baltimore. And it's quickly 0-2. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. And here's a ball hit in the air. Beltran on the move. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Trying to hold the lead. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. More from the Bronx after this. Caleb Joseph makes his way to the box to lead us off in the sixth inning. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Mm, got him out at his front foot, it's 0-2. I'll tell you, he's been living on that corner all the afternoon. And you can tell, guys at the plate, they're starting to get frustrated. He just hasn't made many mistakes at all. And, and when he has, they've been out of the zone. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked a batter to this point. So his control has been really, really spot on so far. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Into the box now, Dariel Alvarez. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards He's second. Out. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. And when your pitcher hasn't given up a hit, believe me, you're going to feel the pressure out there just about as much as he does. These guys know what's at stake. So that's a good job right there to look that ball in and then make a good strong throw for the out. Adam Jones will come forward now. He's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances. Ball A changeup floats outside here for ball one. Hey. 
called strike at the knees, one and one. And you would think that this heat would start affecting him sooner or later, but it hasn't so far. If anything, he's getting stronger as the day goes on. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Out in front of that one. May have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They trail this one one to nothing. Emilio Bonifacio will stand in to start the seventh with that big zero still looming in the hit column. All right, can I officially start the countdown right now? I'm not scared to talk about a no-hitter up here. There's only nine outs between him and a no-hitter as we speak. First pitch on its way. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. He's now thrown a first pitch strike to about 80% of the batters he's faced, and that is, that is just pounding the strike zone. He's pitching so well, and this game's getting late. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. And for you at home, all I'm going to do is direct your attention to the hits column right there. It is what it is here in the seventh inning. Chris Davis digging in here. I can't help but think of the crazy routes that some players take to get to the big leagues. Oh, you're right, Matty. And, you know, most kids grow up just dreaming of playing in the big leagues for any major league oh, team man. just to get the chance of one team drafting him. But Davis was drafted on three separate occasions, and that's pretty incredible. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Yeah, ground ball out to start the seventh. Now an 0-2 count. He's looking sharp as ever. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Davis was drafted by the Yankees in 2004, opted instead to go to junior college. Then the Angels drafted him the next year. He still didn't sign. Finally signed with Texas after the Rangers chose him in the fifth round of the 06 draft. And then his career really finally Safe. took off when he got traded to the Orioles in 2011. And he has had some huge seasons since then. Ah, uh, they finally break through for their first hit of the ball game here in the seventh. So the no-hit bid will end right here. Here comes Yankee manager Joe Girardi on his way to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So as he departs, he can't lose this ball game, but he is responsible for the runner at second, meaning it'd be a no decision if that run comes across to score. Anthony Swarzak will come on and pitch here with one gone in the top of the seventh. Anthony Swarzak. And the Yankees offense was led in large part by this man, Mark Teixeira. Talk about a worthy recipient. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, I think in the end, this really could have been anybody's award. But what the heck? Let's go ahead and give it to this guy. He's as deserving as anybody.
Welcome, everyone. Let's jump right in and revisit the news and events from Monday. Starting in the AL East, the Astros knocked out 10 hits as a team as they defeated the visiting Yankees 5-3. In other Yankees news, relief pitcher Kirby Yates has been placed on waivers by the club. Jackie Bradley Jr. drove in three as the Reds...